Welcome to AutoCAD Learning. In this session, we will dive into the AutoCAD 3D modeling. So let's start with AutoCAD 3D. So for going to AutoCAD 3D, the first thing we have to do is the unit setup. We have discussed this unit setup before. So just go to the AutoCAD icon, left corner, left top corner. Come to the drawing utilities and units. Unit dialog box has come. Uh, define the proper drawing unit style you want. Uh, we are taking a length as decimal. Precision of length at uh, two decimal point. Angle at decimal degree. Uh, precision of angle at one decimal point and uh, we want the angular alignment at the anticlockwise position anticlockwise direction so we are not checking the clockwise direction box and for the insertion scale we are using millimeters okay uh, so our unit setup has been done next thing we have to do is to change the workspace setting we can see that the workspace in is, it is in drafting and annotation style. You can get it from the workspace switching portion here down. You can see that uh, drafting and annotation is selected here. Just click on it and check on 3D modeling. Click on 3D modeling. So you can see that the total workspace is changing and it is changed and you can see the change uh, at the top ribbon that is the working ribbon here the working ribbon has totally changed with some new tools and some new things we will discuss these tools later but before that we are going to uh, we are going to discuss various basic things here that is the visual settings or view settings for AutoCAD 3D. Number one we have to do is that the view that is the view control. If you click on this you can see there is a the top written in the third bracket at the second. You can get various type of view styles or view settings you can control your view from here at uh, designated specific positions like top, bottom, left, right. This is the uh, position where the observer is, observer is seeing the object or the drawing or the model. So we can see top, bottom, left, right, front, back, southwest isometric, southeast isometric, northeast isometric, northwest isometric. These are the several things and we can also control it from here. You can see this is this is a viewport type thing. You can control it, you can rotate this cube cubic style. Just click and hold on it. Click and hold on it and you can rotate it. You can see that the rotation the total uh, mouse pointer has been changed to rotation. You can change it. Uh, it has been showing top, after that left, front, whatever you may like. And the wheel is also changing. There is a wheel for uh, rotating it in a specific plane. And we can also change the queue in its specific viewing direction. Okay. So uh, you can, uh, in this way, you can make a custom view also. But we are going to back the basic things for which where we begin. The viewports also can be changed from the viewport control. Uh, there is a minus sign has been given there in the third bracket. You can see there is three types of viewport. One is view cube. Number two is steering wheel. And number three is navigation bar. Navigation bar is this. This is the navigation bar. This is called the view cube and steering wheel looks like this this is the steering wheel you can see different things like orbit zoom lock up down center walk rewind pan these are the different things you can move the mouse wherever you may want to place 
and go into the steering wheel whatever you want if you want a pen just click on it and just click and hold on it and you can pan easily this is the thing of the wheel steering wheel and you can switch off it from the corner cross so it can be switched off and the number three things number three this is called 2d wireframe for this we uh, need a object here I'm just uh, making an uh, making an cube uh, cubic structure here uh, just like this I uh, and I'm going to the view uh, model view to the southeast isometric for my easiness and I'm just making the cube with function uh, you can see this uh, this making process in the video uh, of extrude press pull you can check up there just I am making the one cubic structure it's not actually cube it's a rectangular box pan from here this hand sign is the pen pan from here and zoom out a bit okay escape so uh, I got a box like structure here so we will see about the various visual styles the third is uh, 2d wireframe is written in the uh, third bracket there is actually visual style control tool if you click on it you can see different visual style the first is 2d wireframe that has been shown the second is conceptual if you click on the conceptual the view of the box like structure will come to this if you change this to hidden it will hide the edges which will not be shown from the angle where I am seeing after that uh, it can come to the realistic this is the realistic view uh, it has been given with a uh, material shade that it has some material that is uh, it is realistic shaded this is the view uh, for the shaded okay and uh, after that shaded with edges these are the edges before that the edges were not uh, coming up uh, with the shaded thing uh, shades of gray the color has changed to gray with the edges also sketchy it make a sketch view for that uh, here the lines are quite a bit uh, bold and it's a sketchy view uh, number last is the wireframe last but not the last is a wireframe and this is the x-ray view x-ray view shows uh, the total plane also and each and every line each and everything has been shown in the x-ray view so these are the visual style control and you can get a visual style manager down here you can open the visual style manager and you can change different visual style contour line uh, draw to uh, shell house anything else uh, you can change the color from here lines uh, there are several lines 2d lines you can change the line type uh, intersection edges you can hide or you can show make some colors also uh, and uh, hollow gap is there arc circle smoothness plane segments and solid smoothness these all are the uh, available in visual styles of drawing so we have seen about the viewport control visual control or view control and visual style control thank you for watching we will see you in the next video